Shimo here watching Wales in the movies again and welcome to the first I Shared Reviews. Twin Town is directed by Kevin Allen, it stars Lear Ifans, Rhys Ifans, Dorian Thomas, William Thomas, Sue Roderick and loads of faces you're likely to see on any Welsh high street. Cup of tea boys! Right, let's kick off. As a Welsh movie fan, it would be silly of me not to champion this movie. I love Twin Town and I want to share that with you guys. So Twin Town was released in 1997. Now, if you're old enough like me, you can cast your mind back. Or if not, you can just imagine 1997 because we hadn't seen a Welsh movie in a very long, well, in a very long ever. Dolly is the name of the first mammal, yes, a sheep ever to be born as the result of cloning. Cloned from an adult sheep in a laboratory. The English patient. Anthony Mengele for the English patient. Juliette Binoche in the English patient. There it is, 10 o'clock, and we say Tony Blair is to be Prime Minister and a landslide is likely. Twin Town came out to journalistic cries of the Welsh train spotting, but in truth, there's little to relate the two films apart from credit at a producer level, and they do share some similar surface, you know, sex, drugs, and karaoke. See what I did there? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll just isn't an appropriate tag for Twin Town because just like its hopeless main characters, Twin Town is totally comfy in its own skin and it's a cheap and tacky skin at that. Train Spotting, for example, arrived a year earlier back in 1996. Pulp culture credibility kind of pumping through its veins. For example, you could bore people claiming to have read the novel and gone on about how much it was better than the book, etc., etc. But Twin Town was conceived purely as an independent film thriller, and I think that shows in the end result. Whereas Train Spotting went for a choose life kind of anti drug message, I always felt, despite it being a cracking movie, articulate voiceover and making the characters so cool kind of betrayed that message a little bit. Twin Town doesn't have that type of contradiction or that type of aspiration. It revels in its drug use and its totally amoral characters. Like I say, there's no Britpop aspirational cool here, no Scorsese voiceover. Petula Clark and the Ponta de Lice male voice choir provide the best soundtrack moments to Twin Town. And when you've got the head of the local male voice choir involved in drug deals for magic mushrooms and diazepam, you know you're dealing with a Welsh film that wants to engage with, but also to shake up the stereotypes a wee bit. 12 quid, alright, Mrs. Mott? Ah, thank you, boys. For me, if there is a message I take from the film, it's contained all in the lyrics to the opening credits, which I played out to, the other man's grass is always greener. Story-wise, it's pretty simple. Delinquent Welsh brothers played by TC fans and Lear E fans, and they enjoy a life of drugs, joyriding, unemployment, and drugs. They live in their parents' caravan in Swansea. You know, there's a cracking scene early on in the movie where they're all together in the caravan that really sells the relationship for the rest of the film. It's also another example of how you can film and break up the stereotypes at the same time. That Cantona in Eddie is a good girl. Good girl, me, you fat bastard. When their cuddly father, Fatty Lewis, has an accident, a near fatal accident, while working off the books for local kingpin and kind of bully Bryn Cartwright, the Lewis brothers demand he be paid some insurance. Now, Bryn flatly refuses. The Lewis brothers start a kind of local feud, which soon escalates into something much nastier. And this not only puts them into conflict with Bryn Cartwright, but also two dodgy Ben Coppers, played by the late Dorian Thomas and Dougree Scott in the role which briefly sent him to Hollywood. So it's a violent revenge tale, and in terms of story, that's all you need to know. In terms of tone, Twin Town has a fantastic list of characters, really funny characters, and they really sell the stories, kind of shifts in genre that happen from time to time. There's some really ballsy filmmaking is evident here from Kevin Allen and Paul Durton at a screenwriter level. When the story first shifts in genre, involving a poodle, in lesser hands that would be quite jarring, but soon enough you're carried into a much nastier story without sacrificing any of the entertainment or any of the laughs, and I think that's the of really good storytelling. Ah! 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 
This was a mid-90s world, remember, just post Pulp Fiction and all that Tarantino-isms. And although Twin Town is a uniquely original movie, by all means, I certainly can't see it being made, being funded in a world which hadn't seen Pulp Fiction and hadn't seen how successfully you can kind of marry the humour with the shocking violence. That was fucking trippy. In the case of Twin Town, the nastier it gets, the more violent it gets, the funnier it gets. And that's in no small part due to the fantastic performances from all the cast, in particular William Thomas as Bryn Cartwright. If his villain wasn't so hateable, but also so likeable at the same time, and Twin Town's ending just wouldn't work on the same level, and I think that also goes for Dougree Scott's The Diane Boys. So, when the story reaches its finale, you'll be well on board. Now, when the ending to your film manages to be all of horribly violent, really funny, totally amoral and also touching at the same time and you really have to give enormous credit to the people involved and that's Kevin Allen, the screenwriter Paul Durden, uh, the actors and of course an editor called Oral Nori Arty who uh, I'll get back to later. Watching the film this week I don't think I've seen another film that provokes so many different emotions while maintaining such a clear story and such a clear visual narrative. Fucking fantastic. Correct me if I'm wrong but I do not believe any colour movie produced away from S4C was done before Twin Town as a cinematic release. Will this give you a good representation of Wales? Yeah, pretty much I'd say so. How much it speaks for the people up in North Wales, I'm not so sure. So if you're up in a goglev, I'd really love to know what you think about that. Down in the here comments section, you can let me know how you feel Twin Town represents your Welshness. If it does, if it doesn't, yeah, we can just have a chat about that, that'd be awesome. But yeah, of course, anyone familiar with certain elements of South Wales, especially South Wales life, can't fail to spot something familiar in the humour. It's a movie I enjoy showing to foreign visitors whenever they come here, and usually they fucking loves it. Right, all there, neighbour? Oh, they are. Titting on Chandy, isn't it? How's that, boy? Oh, marvellous. Good one. It in the spot? Oh. Kevin Allen went on to direct Agent Cody Banks 2, Destination London, and also for Warner Brothers he made the big tease with Scottish comedian Craig Ferguson. Kevin has a cameo in the film here, and he also directed Welsh films The Circus and Under Milk Wood recently. Kevin was kind enough to answer some of my Welsh movie related questions and via online magazine Comedy Culture, and I'll put the link to that article down in the here description section. Kevin's mum Mary was also in the film, in this amusing scene outside the train station with screenwriter also Paul Durden, and Mary Allen has unfortunately passed away since. Rest in peace. Also no longer with us are Dorian Thomas, Brian Hibbard, Hugh Kledig, and Ronnie Williams. Rest in peace, lads. Rhys Ifans enough said you can clash his brother Cleon Ifans in Welsh films of very Annie Mary and The Circus. William Thomas, quite frankly, deserves his own section in this I Shared Review series from now on, so we're just going to do it like this. Yes, William Thomas is in this movie. Dougary Scott went on to Hollywood briefly, check it out. Di Botcher, who played the Lewis's mum, appeared in plenty of other Welsh films and recently appeared in Victor Frankenstein with James McAvoy and Daniel Radcliffe. Sue Roderick was in Hethwin and Patagonia. Yeah, a mad Welsh trivia link, Morgan Hopkins, who plays Chip and has an actor credit in a film called The Contractor, which stars Wesley Snipes and was filmed in Cardiff. Check out the trailer, I'll put a link to it down below. It's got the museum in it, the flyover, a bit crazy. Further investigation can be had on YouTube. There's definitely a documentary on there called Shootout in Swansea, check it out. It's got some interesting moments from the filming, including more information about that sheep scene. For some reading, you can check out Wales on Screen, which is edited by Steve Blandford, and that's got some really interesting writings about the screenwriting of Twin Town, how it represents Wales, this type of thing. Steve Blanford is professor at USW and teaches also at the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. He also wrote a book called Film, Drama and the Breakup of Britain, which you should check it out. And yeah, last but not least, I want to mention somebody called Oral Nori Otti, who's the editor of this movie. Now, I've just studied a wee bit of movie editing over the last couple of years, and I can, you get a bit of appreciation for the editor's input, and I can tell you there's some dots connected to Twin Town in the editing process that I really, again, help think, sell, and make the story. So I think it's a great job done in the editing process too, and it's worth mentioning. Dion Oral Nori Otti. Four and a half stars for Twin Town. Pedaya Seren Ahana. Now please correct any of my Welsh if I get it wrong and any other video in the future. Now what's not to like in this movie? Sex, drugs, football and rugby, karaoke. I genuinely now put Twin Town in my top 20 list of all time movies. Now I'm not talking about preference, I refer to its pure quality.
Okay, so here's now where I want to talk a little bit about bias. Of course, I am biased for this movie. I'm a man who wants to push Welsh representations and Twin Town is definitely the best Welsh film ever. However, in the case itself, Twin Town, the bias is just another way into the story. Its Welshness is just one of the many levels on which it works a treat. I would expect anyone to enjoy this movie, whether you're from South Wales or whether you're from Wollongong. It's played totally straight by the actors and the director. It's a bold and unique movie, and it's one which makes me not proud, but very, very content to be Welsh. So don't look around, get your feet on the ground. It's much better by far to be just who we are. Well done.